Hello and welcome to your daily energy update. All right, so straight up we have the strength card. Could be a Leo is around you. Strength is all about loyalty and alliance, that unspoken agreement. Okay, it's also allowing yourself to be vulnerable in a situation that seems hectic or chaotic. It, it's that feeling of, I know I can make it. Okay, in a world of, you know, I'm getting this vision of in a world of wolves. So some of you may be feeling that way where, you know, you, you just have to be brave and courageous in a, in a harsh world. So this could be for some of you. Alternatively, it may be a Leo around you or it could be talking about loyalty. Next up, we have the hangman. The hangman is a Pisces energy. It is all about something in our life that is not moving forward. Okay, the hangman is a card of stagnancy and stillness and non-activity. A king of swords could be a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Alternatively, an X energy could be you are an X or someone around you. You may be thinking of this person. Now, the King of Swords is someone who thinks a lot. Okay, knowledge is very valuable to the King of Swords. He's always seeking to learn more. Okay, now the King of Swords is also someone who loves intellect and loves to know everything. Okay, when you're meeting a uh, King of Swords, he will need to know everything. He asks so many questions and the more he knows, the more closer he feels to you. Next up, we have a Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign feminine, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Alternatively, this could be you or someone around you who is quite dominant, quite social, exciting to be around, a bit mysterious, likes mystical things as well as very sunny side up. She likes to be liked and she likes everybody. Also very attractive. Now, next to her, we have a Knight of Wands. Now, this Queen of Wands may be someone who likes to get around, okay, in a good way, get around, go out on the town and enjoy herself, um, meet new people, and uh, she's just a people's person. This could be a suitor coming to visit her, take her out a little bit. Now, we have a two of swords in the middle of the, the spread indicating that we may have come across a, a pivotal position where we need to make a decision in our life. Okay, this decision requires us to go within and use our intuition in regards to what we need to do. What we decide is the next card, which is Six of Swords. Six of Swords is something that's telling me that we're considering moving on from something. We're considering leaving something behind. We're actually needing to take some time out. This is Virgo energy. Needing to take some time out in order to think about it, contemplate and really meditate on the best best um, outcome for us we reach an epiphany with ace of swords this is all about thought as well as knowledge it's an ace so it's something that is new that we did not know before okay king of swords has come back again you've got the king of swords twice so he's someone very important this weekend like i said could be an air sign masculine energy alternatively this could be someone who needs to know knowledge he's seeking knowledge about something possibly about you he could be around you there and he's just 
you might be getting to know him or he's just someone that knight of pentacles wants to take his time in regards to moving forward with you because knight of pentacles is not in any hurry and the reason that the knight of pentacles is not in any hurry is because he intends to stay he intends to come in, sit down and unpack his bags and not go anywhere after that. Uh, he's not going to sweep through or he's not Knight of Wands where he comes in and wants to take you out. Knight of Pentacles is someone that comes and stays. The Knight of Pentacles is also an apprentice, someone that is learning how to ma how to work with their pentacles like invest and make them grow. All right, let's have a look at what the Fendi Seiko Kippa have in store as well. What does the Fendi Seiko Kippa? Now we have occupation and this could very well be the Knight of Pentacles energy as well. The house is all about stability, security, okay, something long term. We have working on a stable marriage for some of you because you do have the two, two king and queen, two kings and one queen. So I feel that that's a king of swords that possibly is in your past. Okay, things were stagnant for a little while, deciding to move on. However, I think he comes back because he wants to stay. He wants to stay for the long term. And there you are again, okay. Um, sudden wealth also indicates that we're feeling really happy. It's a really blessed situation. And because it connects the masculine and the feminine, they have a very blessed union. There could also be a lot of money that is in between them. They've invested for many, many years together. They may be in business together. Okay, so it looks like it is really saying that a couple that are working together for the long term future, a very stable um, connection, it could be a home business, um, a family business for some of you, or a home, home business, home setup. Others of you, this could very well be we want to work on the house, like renovating, okay, um, you know, um, working on something to do with the house, painting the bedroom rooms or installing windows or something along those lines but working on a home could be working from home okay working on a stable marriage for some of you and you know um, because there's a lot of time that you have um, in between you now let's go ahead and see what the gypsy oracle have for you as well I hope you've got some wonderful plans for this weekend. Constancy, happiness. Um, somebody is really upset that their love ended or someone um, really happy for a long time but real despair that the love ended because house waiting to heal yeah someone is waiting to heal okay so it looks like someone's coming back to heal this connection wow this is definitely like the same story with all three decks of cards or four decks of cards should i say so i hope this lets you know that your person they want to come back and they they want to heal this connection with you I hope this gave you some insight and guidance and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for your update a bit later today. And as always, I, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.